This seven star Greninja Terror Raid event is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So the event itself will be running from today as of recording this video on the 27th of January and it'll be running through until Sunday the 29th. If you do happen to miss this first wave of the Greninja, it will be returning on the 10th of February till the 12th of February. So there is going to be another opportunity to take part in this Terra Raid event. Greninja going to be the star of the show, going to be level 107 star raid. It is going to have the mightiest mark, so that makes it pretty unique to these events. And it is going to be only catchable once per save file. It is going to have the terror type of poison and it will have its hidden ability. So I was a little bit wrong. I'll have to hold my hands up. It is going to have battle bond, but battle bond will only activate once per battle. So it will not activate over and over and over again. It does have access to it when you're playing it. So it will only activate once per game. It's moveset, which is pretty interesting. There was a lot of debate about what moves it would have, but it predominantly is going to be a mixed attacker. So it's going to have a mixture of special and physical attacks. So it's going to have gunk shot, which plays off that poison terror typing. Then it's going to have hydro pump, which is the special type attack and ice beam, which makes Bringing Garchomp to these Terror Raids pretty much null and void. I don't think Garchomp's going to be at all viable for these raids with Ice Beam as an option for this Greninja. Then it's going to have Night Slash. It is. It's going to be a dark type attacking move. And it's a pretty annoying one as well because it does have a high critical hit chance. So if you are using things that boost defense, it can just hit through those, ignore those boosts with a critical hit because it does ignore boosts and anything like that. Stat changes if you land a critical hit. It's a Additional moves are going to be Toxic Spikes and Double Team as well. So that's its moveset. And it's pretty nice to see no Psychic coverage on there. So it makes bringing a Poison type like Claude Sire into these matches pretty easy. And no Grass coverage as well, which Greninja does have in its move pool. So things like Gastrodon are going to be a lot easier to bring into this matchup. And things like Clear Smog, especially because we're seeing something like Double Team going to be a really nice option just to get rid of any stat changes on the Greninja. The item drops, as to be expected, are going to be brilliant for this Terror Raid. You're going to get lots of candies, XL candies, large candies, and you're going to get Carbos as the vitamin drop for this one. Lots of Poison Terror Shards and the TM Toxic Spikes, which is something that Greninja does use as one of its additional moves. Uh, you're going to get ability patches as well, which is going to be one of the highest value items that you're going to get from these drops. More candies, rare candies as well as comet shards, nuggets and other things. Bottle caps included in that as well as an ability capsule and the patch as well that you're going to be able to obtain from these raids. But this isn't the only Pokemon that is part of this event this weekend. You're going to get four and five star raids for both Lucario and Bronzong. And Lucario's feature terror type for this one is going to be a steel type and Bronzong's is going to be a psychic type. And the two featured terror types that you're going to get on both of these raids for the other Pokemon in these raid dens. And like most of the other four and five star raids that you're going to get in game, the item drops for these are going to be pretty relevant relevant for the star rating that you're going to get obviously the higher star rating for the Lucario and the Bronzong the better item drops you're going to get no Herba Mystica chances though with these but a bunch of candies and other regular five star rewards along with them nice options as well if you haven't got these Pokemon in your game to get and both can do a decent enough job against Greninja but like I say the event is running from the 27th which is today until the 29th this is the first cycle of the Greninja Ninja 7 star terror raid event and it will be returning again in two weeks time so they are all the details just a reminder that it is shiny locked the Greninja is shiny locked the only way to get a shiny Greninja is going to be by catching it in these terror raids where it cannot be shiny and then breeding it down to get a shiny from an egg that is one way you can get a shiny Greninja in your games so to get the event in game all you need to do when you're in your game is then come down to your poker portal this will then take you into this menu screen and you're going to want to come down to mystery gift and then check poker portal news and this will connect you to the internet and it'll update all of the terror raid dens in the area 
and it'll mean that you'll be able to access the Spotlight Terror Raids, which would be the Lucario and the Bronzong, and that Greninja 7-star raid. So once you've got this message, you know that the dens have been updated in your game. You're safe to disconnect, and as always, like the other 7-star raids, this event will be running until Sunday, but if you don't go online after that date, you will keep this den until the next time you go online. So if you want to keep this event in your game and you want to just farm it for these high cost value items, don't go online, just keep offline and you'll be able to just do this event for as long as you want. So once you've got your map open, what you're going to want to try and do is locate the seven star raid. It, they do look like six star raids. This is obviously our six star raid for today, but we are looking for this one in particular. And this is exactly what it will look like. So you want to just mark it on your map and then head over to the location where it is. It's also worth just pointing out that the other terror raid dens that are part of this event, the Lucario and the Bronzong that are going to be your four and five star raids will look like terror raid dens like this like your normal spotlight terror raid dens with that pulsating white aura around them so they'll be identifiable via that method when you come to the den when you go in we're going to try with slow bro here because slow bro was good against the cinderace we know the move set of this greninja now it has got double team it is going to be the most annoying thing i think of the move set in general we need to watch out for the night slash it has got a higher critical hit chance so can hit through the iron defenses once we set up but predominantly going to be threatening us from a physical point of view so the iron defenses are going to be great we've got the leftovers on there as well we've got slack off for a bit of recovery but once we get boosted up we're going to be able to hit it with a massive stored power for super effective damage so i feel like slow bro is still going to be a really good option going into this raid and as you see the greninja as soon as you come in it's going to fire off that double team get its evasiveness raised and then the toxic spikes as well so anytime anything gets knocked out and comes back onto the field it is going to get poisoned uh, unless there is a poison type or a steel type to get rid of the uh, the toxic spikes there so we get the, the iron defense off we should be fine because the bulk that we've got on slow brawl is going to allow us to kind of be able to get the iron defense is up and obviously the leftovers recovery going to be massively helpful as well. It was so good against the Cinderace, but still works out to be probably one of the better, better Pokemon to bring in against the Greninja as well. And we've got one more nasty plot and then we'll be able to see how much these stored powers do, which should chunk it. What the stats are like, so we're still plus, we're fine. Oh, that's as quick as it, that's probably as easy as it's going to be, I think. Uh, you've also got the options like Clodsire. I think probably going like a physical Clodsire is going to be a better option because it's just so whiffy on its special attack inside. Gastrodon's a nice option as well to get around the double team boosts with things. Ah, we've cursed ourselves. We miss. We miss. With <laughs> yeah, with things like uh, Clear Smog, I think Gastrodon with Clear Smog is going to be a really nice option. You could go like um, Unaware Quagsire could be an option as well because then you're going to ignore the the double team boosts we do hit this time this should knock it out we're boosted up completely so super effective attack and there we go greninja easy as pie so like i say you're only going to be able to get one of these greninja per save file as a capture so um if you've got any of the special pokeballs it's a good time to use them of course i uh, i think i'm out of all of my special ones i am indeed so i think i'm going to go with a good old dive ball uh, it feels pretty nice getting in the dive ball and we'll get that mightiest mark as well for the greninja but not a hard terror raid at all i think the more annoying things that you're going to have to deal with are the double team but like i say having a pokemon with unaware like gastrodon uh, like quagsire could be an option here or having something like gastrodon with the storm drain ability and then clear smog really nice option against the greninja and now we know that it's mostly physical it makes it a bit easier to prepare for and then you can see the item drops that we've already went over here we're getting lots of candies lots of poison terror shards we're going to get an ability patch as well and even more candies just like i like to see so these are going to be great raids for just farming over and over again but as you can see slow does work out once again as a good option to come into these raids the only thing the caveat that i would say you're going to have to watch out for is being careful around that night slash and uh, just making sure, you know, it has got that higher critical hit rate. So 
it can cause you a few issues now if you want to farm these raids if you don't know already once you come into your map this six star terror raid will disappear to get it back hit your home menu then come down into your system settings then down into system then down into date and time click into date and time make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off click into date and time and just click right through to okay just like that then come back into game and you'll see all the dens and everything will change and you'll be able to locate that six that seven star terror raid once again six star there you go there it is so we can go back over it and just farm it over and over again for these higher cost items so friends that is all of the details that we wanted to cover for this brand new seven star greninja terror raid event that is running right now in your copy of scarlet and violet hope you found today's video useful have fun farming and taking part in this event over the weekend their item drops are great for this one it's not too difficult to do and we will be back very soon with an update for the best bit to really run through these Greninja raids as fast as you can. Obviously, Slowbro is still a great option, but we're going to be back with another build that will make it even easier for you to go through these raids and take advantage of these great item drops while this event is still running. Thank you so much for tuning in. Drop a like if the video has been useful. Subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content, and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.